Soul Shaker. Wow, that's that really cool. How'd that work? Well, it's a, it's a magic trick. I can't tell you. Oh, well, okay. That's all right then. Uh, so, uh, how you been, man? I've been pretty well, you know. Just you were my out. student a, a while ago. Yeah, we so. were, yeah, it's been a long time, though. It has been a long time. So, you seeing anybody? Oh, I'm seeing Susan. I, oh, I was supposed to bring her here. Oh, no. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Uh, well, I guess I could go get her. Uh, it's a bit late for that, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Did you hear that? Oh, uh, what? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna go check in uh the bathroom where the sound came oh, from. All right, that's cool. You can just do that, weird person. Okay. Uh, I'll just I'll be right going and uh I'll be right back. And oh, if I come back and I'm acting strange, tackle me. All right, I'll do that. There was definitely a horse in my bathroom. Rah! Oh, hold on. It's just a horse in my bathroom. What, it's oh, not weird. Oh, really? Well, that's strange. I'm going to have to go look for myself. Hold on a second. You don't believe me? I oh. really, I I don't know. I'm going to have to look at this. Just, All right. Well, on. be careful. I'll be there. right back, okay? Just let me just go check. That's a horse. Indeed. Wow. So, okay. Well, I don't know what to do now. Oh, she's all right, I guess. I don't know. She's cool. Uh, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Well, ring, 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 ring. Hello. You have reached Susan Way. Please leave a message. Beep. Susan, it's Richard. Uh, where do I start? What a mess. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I screwed up very badly, and it's all my fault. And look, whatever it takes to make up for it, I'll do it. Solemn promise. Honestly, we can go away. Take a holiday for a week, or even just this weekend if you like. Really, this weekend. We'll go somewhere sunny. Doesn't matter how much pressure Gordon tries to put on me. And you know the sort of pressure he can muster. He is your brother, after all. I'll just er... Actually, it might be, have to be next weekend. Damn, damn. It's just that I really have promised to get... No, look, it doesn't matter. We'll just do it. I don't care about getting Anthem finished or Convex. It's not the end of the world. We'll just go. Gordon will just have to take a running jump. Yeah! Goodbye. Oh, Susan. Hi, it's Gordon. Just on my way to the cottage, it's a Thursday night and it's a 847. A bit misty on the roads. Listen, I have those people from the States coming over this weekend to thrash out distribution on Anthem version 2.0. Handling the promotion, all that stuff, and look, you know I don't like to ask you this sort of thing, but you know, I always do anyway, so here it is. I just need to know that Richard is on the case. I mean, really on the case. I can ask him, and he says, oh, sure, it's fine, but half the time... I'm sorry, Susan, I'm gonna have to stop and check the booth. Won't be a moment. since it mysteriously opened on me for some reason. This is, this is a really long walk. To, I didn't think this car was that long. Well, let's see. I'm almost there. Okay, let's, let's check here. Oh, this is, oh yep, 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 yep. What's this? What's going on? Bang! Oh, my gosh. Oh. Whoa, what the heck? Am I dead? What is this? Ah. I believe <laughs> you. I believe you. All right, going in. All right, gotta find the message. We gotta find the phone. Ring, 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 ring. Phone. Okay, answering. All right. 
Hello? Rule one in housebreaking. Never enter the telephone when you're in the middle of a job. Who are you supposed to be, for heaven's sake? Mom? Rule two. Preparation. Bring in the right tools. Bring gloves. Try to have the faintest glimmer of an idea of what you're about to do before you start dangling from window ledges in the middle of the night. Rule three. Never forget rule two. Who is this? Neighborhood watch. If you just look out the back window, you'll see. Rule four. Never stand where you can be photographed. Rule five. Are you listening to me, Macduff? What? Uh, yes. Who are you? I am Dirk Gently. Come buy me pizza. Okay. <laughs> hey, is this the detective agency? Mm-hmm. Okay, is Dirk in? He may be. And then again, he may not be. I am not in a position to tell. It is not my business to know of his whereabouts. His whereabouts are, as of now, entirely his own business. I believe you. Okay, man, why were you spying on me? I was working on a case. What kind of case? What, well, are, you, are you crazy or something? I'm not crazy. I was working on a case. There's are you a, a pervert? There's a missing cat, and I must find it. Do I look like a cat to you? No, but it's part of my case. I believe in the fundamental interconnectedness of all things. What the heck is that? I'll show you if you let me hypnotize you. That sounds perverted. I'm not... I'm just gonna hypnotize you, man. Come on. Alright, whatever. Do it. Alright, so, uh, just... You relax, alright? You see this purse? It's going back and forth. Uh, you're feeling very tired. Very tired. Very oh, tired. It's a, a nice purse right there. Ah... This is so weird. What's going on? Everything's ah, all loopy. Ah, 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 What's going ah, on? Ah, ah, ah. I suddenly feel like I can't swim. He won't remember anything. This is so <laughs> weird. Ah. I believe you. I believe oh, you. I'm sorry. Let's start it over. Uh, so, Richard, let me tell you about Schrodinger's cat. Have you heard right. this story? No, I have not. All right. The idea behind Schrodinger's cat was to try and imagine a way in which the effects of a probabilistic behavior at a quantum level could be considered at a macroscopic level, or let's say, an everyday level. Okay. Right. Uh, so, you imagine that you take a cat and put it in a box that you can seal completely. Also in that box, you put a small lump of radioactive material and a vial of poison gas. You arrange it so that within a given period of time, there is exactly 50 wait, 50. What? Wait, why are we poisoning the cat? Get, get over it. Exactly a 50 50 chance that an atom in the radioactive bump yeah. will decay and emit an electron. If it does decay, then it triggers the release of the gas and kills the cat. If it doesn't, the cat lives. 50 50. Depending on the 50 50 chance and a, that a single atom does or does not decay. But the point, as I understand it, is this. Since the decay of a single atom is a quantum level event that wouldn't be resolved either way until it's observed, and since you don't make the observation until you open the box and see whether the cat is alive or dead, there's a, then there's a rather extraordinary consequence. Until you do open the box, the cat itself exists in an intermediate state. The possibility that it is alive, and the possibility that it is dead. There are two different waveforms superimposed on each other inside the box. Schrodinger put forward this idea to illustrate what he thought was absurd about quantum theory. Does that make sense? Uh, absolutely not, but that's okay because I like streams. Well, did I ever tell you about my great aunt Betty? Her sploosh! Ah, uh, save me, Jesus! Save me, Jesus! I can't swim! I can't swim! Yes, What's you can! On? You can okay. swim! I can't swim! You... I hypnotized I, I you. I never went to swim in school! I never went to swim in school! I don't know how to swim! My arms are stuck like this! I don't know what to do! What you doing? <laughs> throw me that lifeline there. Please, throw me that lifeline. All right. Do it. I will throw it. Do it. Here we go. I'm Do throwing it. it. I, I just threw okay, it. Okay, good. All right. I threw I it. I got it. I think I got it. Hey, Susan. Uh, hey, Richard. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I meant to call, but I've oh, been afraid oh, that the that's police... Okay. That's all right. Oh, the of... police? Oh, no, no, that's all right. But I'm but I'm wanted for murder. Oh, for, for no, murder. you aren't. That's fine. I, I love you. Hey, hey what I, are you wearing? Yellow. Yellow? You always wear yellow, you silly goose. Well, I like to please you and stuff with right. my yellowness. Yeah, yellow's a good color on you, you know? Oh, thanks. So, right. uh, the cops, are they uh, are they still after me? Because I'm pretty sure that they want me for Gordon Way's murder. Yeah, that's all right, though. They, they'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So, so I should come visit come you Come to my house, yes, please. Okay, I'll see you then. I love you. All right, bye. Bye. Yay! And... You, oh, capital Q. I believe you. Wait. 
What do these mean? Nothing. Go, go ask a kid. I bet they would know. That's brilliant! Couldn't we order out? We always no, have Skittles. I love Skittles. You gotta taste uh, the rainbow. It's, but it's Everybody so, needs it's to taste the rainbow. It's every day with this. Nobody understands. It's fine. Uh, Rainbows are the best. Richard! Oh, who is that? Hello! I need you to do something with me. I have a plan. Who are you? Dirk! Didn't Richard tell you about me? No. All right, well, okay, let's just go. I'm so All right, whatever. What, where are you? Oh, Bye, Susan. I guess goodbye. I'm going to go hang out with let's my go. friend Dirk. Let's go. Because you're stupid. Oh, look, three new tweets. I believe you. I believe, I believe you, too. Dirk, I'm from the future. Oh. This is just like the 17th episode of Star Trek. Yeah. Hold on, I can take it some less. Look, we're in a jungle. Oh, cool, rainforest. Oh, I wouldn't this, touch that. That's poison. This is in the past. This is the What's beginning of on? time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the beginning of time. <laughs> this is pretty. This? this is nice. I like this. This is like Avatar. Hey, you kids! Get off my lawn! Aww. Da 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 da. Pizza party! Yeah, I wasn't in this movie. The order of holding. Richard. Secretary. Dirk. Susan. Reg. Unknown guy. Cameraman. Ghost of Gordon. Electric monk. 